Ha! Ah, I love Yu-Gi-Oh's Excel. One of my favorite shows, in fact. Marco Koopa! Where are you? Oh, that's fantastic. What do you want, Polar? Our contestants are waiting impatiently for the challenge. Since when they are... Since when they want challenges? You're really watching you use Excel? Hey, it's my favorite TV show. Deal with it. Whatever. Anyways, get up there. It's time for you to tell them the chat. But we don't even know the chat. Ah! Sorry, you use Excel. Not now. Man, that really sucks. I right, listen. You can watch you use Excel later. Now, let's get in the challenge. Ah! Oh! Did you really just throw Mako Koopa just like that? Wait, you still have that cheap cheap? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, oh, that was one wicked party, right, Foxy? Yeah, definitely. Oh my god. Thank god if he didn't get drunk to be like drunky there. Yeah, that would have been gross. Ugh. Uh, all right, it's time for the challenge. But I heard you're watching Yu-Gi-Oh's Excel. Yes, I watched this show too. You must the best. I bet he could beat Jaden, you say Yugi, anyone. With that number on your side, no one can touch him. Yeah, you're right. But enough of that. Like Puller said, it's time for the challenge. Do you even think about the challenge what we're going to have? Well, um, no. Then why are we then posting this episode in the first place? I don't know either! Just tell us what's the challenge. Or you can even do that in season one thing, you know. When you, when you, an epi when you, when there was a merge, then you just, like, went into that two hours later, and then the winner of the challenge, like, then there'll be nothing again. But that would be just a waste of time! Uh, you're right. Well, let's focus on the. Ch All right, let's do the challenge that actually Iggy wanted to do for a long time, but he got eliminated. So, th so this challenge, history challenge. Wait, actually, no, no, it's actually history, history challenge. Four people will participate in this challenge, so then they can do, you know, answer questions and all that. Only four. Rusty four. Uh, but what about the rest of our the rest of us four? Hold on, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's actually final. Oh my god, you guys are already in the final eight. Well, well, four of you who will not participate will be pro protected and will not be in the elimination. Will not be voted. If they if these guys want to. Oh come on! Wait, can we go to confessional? I need to go. I need to go too. Oh okay. Woo! Foxy made it to the final eight. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, I'm in the final night. 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 Yeah. Wait, final night. Final eight. Foxy, why are you so dumb? Well, you know what? No, it doesn't matter. I'm in the final eight. Oh my god, oh my god. I hope I make it to the final seven. Unfortunately, the history class would be really really easy because Goombella do you know that Goombella character from Paper Mario well fun fact she is my history teacher so this won't be a this won't be such a competition this will be just a piece of cake but we're not also going to tell you about history it's about some things words that you don't understand and some mythic mythicals or something like legends for example like Medusa yeah, Medusa's gross and scary. Ugh, I never want to watch her again. Well, all right. Um, so the f the lucky four who are gonna battle for the immunity tonight is Meowth, Boo, Carl, and Brandon. Woohoo! Yeah. Well, I hope Brandon wins. Same here. All right. So, here's our first question. Oh god, 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 oh god. By the way, you can get help from your alliance if you really have one. You have to have one helper. That's actually the part of the challenge. I'll be Brandon's helper. I'll be Carl's. I guess I'll be Jigglypuff's. 
I know we didn't, but we didn't have much ground of all females. Mel. Oh no. All right. So here's the question. First question, dude. I mean, I I'm a student of Gumbella, and she's my history teacher. This will be easy. Okay. Oh yeah, and that team who wins, for example, if Brandon and Re if Carl and Foxy win, then that means that they will both be in the first class. Oh man. Yeah. So you can't choose. Anyways. Here's the first question. What does keel hauling mean? Keel hauling. <laughs> okay. Keel hauling is someone punished by dragging them into the water across the winter from bow to stern. Wow. You're correct. Mm, wow. You really know this stuff? Mm-hmm. All right. Here comes the next question. All right. This is about um a legend. Not about Medusa. It's about the Japanese girl in the winter. What is her name? Uh. Okay, I really forgot about that one. No answers? All right, time's up. Next question. All right, the next question is. Ever since Sonic.exe was created, what was created before him? Ooh, ooh. Zalgo. Wait, Zalgo? Yeah, Zalgo. Zalgo, correct. If you get one more question, you win. If you get one more answer, you win. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I have to stop them. All right, the next question is about about a Japanese doll. So, it's a bit so it's another guess name name guess. So, she was a doll who about who get who was given for to a girl who's two years old and sick. However, she died, and then the, the, her spirit is kept in the doll and doll. And because of that, that doll gets hit, gets her large hair and gets her mouth open. What is the name of that doll? Uh, I don't know. Same here. I mean, I don't know what our I don't know what's Japanese. Sorry, I can help. I can't help you. Wait, if you don't know who is she, that doll, then how, why do you love Japan so much? Wait, you love it just because of language? Alright. Oh, this one is way easy. Dude, even you can get it without help. If you, if you don't know the name of the doll, then I don't know that you then seriously need some mental help. But I do know. Oh, by the way, sorry since I, you know, scream at your face. It's okay. So, is it really going to work? I, yeah, don't worry. I Listen, I'm from the history. Of course. Dude, I learned history from Gubella every goddamn day. Of course I would know what what's the name of that doll. All right. The answer to that that doll, the name, her name is Okiku. Wow. Brand is correct. All freaking questions answer. No, there's no way. All right, Brandon, Red, if you want a challenge, I don't freaking care. All of you are just stupid. You guys are the best. Okay. Yeah, I know that was pretty short of a challenge, but hey, we got a more time limit because of me watching Yu Gi Oh Axel. Oh, by the way, since you do you love Yu Gi Oh Axel? Well, I much prefer Yu Gi Oh 5D, but I've been watching Yu Gi Oh Axel because of Red, my boy. Well, this is what you want for challenge. Down there in the living room, or in the kitchen, will be the first class. And it, that one will be far more better. Maybe there won't be any video games, but there will be a lot of things. Food and Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. Hallelujah! He just passed out, don't worry. Alright, well, time for- but before you get it, time for the elimination. Alright everyone, your votes have been cast. Now, let's give, obviously, the moldy cheap cheap to Brandon, because he won the challenge, and his helper, Red, because they won the challenge, and they'll get the first class together. Now, meet me down there in the living room, and then we'll have some fun. Woo! Let's do it. Let's go. Whee! Alright, now since Red and Bo Brandon are the way, the first moldy cheap cheap goes to Foxy. Boo. Boulder. Oh, and finally, to go up. And now we're down to the bottom two, Carl and Meowth. One of you two is going home tonight. Carl, 
Luckily for you, when when Toad was eliminated, you were lucky that Toad decided to quit with his brother Kevin, and that made you be safe. But maybe, just maybe, you won't be so lucky. Now, people just don't like you because you just die every time. And the final Moldy Cheep Cheep goes to... Carl. Wow, wow. Oh, oh, that's just fantastic. I got eliminated and I was so close. I'm in the final eight, but now it is, now that's where I stop. Well, that's fine. I don't need a show anyway. Screw you, everybody. <laughs> well, time to shoot that kitty cat off the island. Looks like you failed, Jerry. Ah, oh, whatever. Hey, Jerry, when I come back home, you'll taste my Philly slimes. And with that being said, Meowth has been kicked out from the competition. And now we're down to the bottom seven. Red, Brandon, Boulder, Foxy, Boo, Carl, and Jigglypuff. What will happen in the next episode? Will Jigglypuff be able to keep up by herself? And, and will... And we'll remark you by now enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh's Excel. We'll find out in the next episode of Total Drama Plushy Island Season 3. Actually, now that I think about it. This is life, man! This is freaking life! I know, right? Best season ever! 10 out of 10! Yeah, best characters, best storyline, 10 out of freaking 10. Better than Yu-Gi's Grant old man. I mean, don't appreciate Yugi's grandfather. I mean, he did care about, Yugi does care about his grandpa very much. Plus, that could be possibly his only thing that he has in the universe. Maybe he heard his mom and dad died. Mom and daddy died or something. Why are you calling him that mommy and daddy? Nah, I'm just saying that maybe Yugi's parents have died. Better? Oh. Well, Alright, enough of the talk. Let's enjoy this beautiful episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! I agree 100%.